Hello everyone, my name is Christina Liu. I'm a mental fitness coach. Thank you so much for joining me for this day five of the video series on building mental fitness. Yesterday I told you about the third core muscle of mental fitness, which is self-command, which is the ability to control your mind so that you can shift out of the saboteur mode and into the stage mode. Today, I want to go back to the first core muscle, which is about intercepting the saboteurs. And I want to get into a little bit more detail and talk to you about what the saboteur is and why it's so important to intercept their powers. Um, and yesterday, I did say that I was going to get into the master saboteur, the judge, but I think I'll today talk a bit more about the general concept of the saboteurs because it's, this is such an important concept. Now, just a little bit of a review of what the saboteur is. The saboteur is the part of us that generates all the negative emotions. It's part of our left brain, it's part of the brainstem and the limbic system. And they exist because they're, they think they're here to protect us, to keep us safe, and uh, to ensure that we survive in this, what can be a dangerous world. And so everyone, every single person, has a saboteur. Anyone who is above the age of uh, usually about two is when we start developing these saboteurs because we're starting to understand there are dangers in the world and we need to do something to protect us. And another thing that the saboteur does is to, to gain love because one of the main ways that we can survive, that we can ensure our survival, is to make sure that we're loved. And so the saboteurs were here and told us a bunch of lies of how, what we can be or how we can be uh, to be more loved. So as to say, well, who we are at our essence, remember that other part of us, the sage, that's not enough. You need to develop some other things so that you can be loved, so that th therefore you can survive in this world. So, so at the essence of the saboteurs, they actually come from a good place, right? But, but the way they do it is often quite destructive. And so that's what uh, we're going to get into uh, both today and over the next several videos about how these saboteurs really tell us these destructive lies, uh, thinking or telling us that they're going to protect us, they're going to keep us safe, but really is to make us, first of all, unhappy. And second of all, half this limitation of how much we can actually achieve, how well we can perform, how good of a relationship we, we can have, and how good we feel, how good of health we can have. And so, so that's the first point I want you to take away, is that the voices that come from the saboteurs, they're not true, right? They're not the real you. It's not the truth. They tell you lies. I know this may be even a little bit difficult to accept because this is this you're so used to hearing their voices and you take them as the truth. And I did for a long, long time, you know, before I went on my self discovery journey and which was several years ago. And even in the beginning, when I went on this journey, I did a lot of different things, even including studying psychology is I still took these voices as the truth. And I actually thought, you know, the traditional psychology way, it teaches us, you know, how we're shaped, our behavioral thought and emotional patterns are based on one, how we were born, and two, you know, your childhood experiences and even later experiences, they shape you into who you are. And that's just how it is. And you can do some work to, to try to make some changes, but, uh, but it's really difficult and it takes a long, long time until I came to this theory of positive intelligence, that was when I realized that's just absolutely not true. You can absolutely change how you think, how you feel, it's all up to you. And so when I, that's why when I learned this concept, it was so empowering to say, well, actually all these thought patterns and emotional patterns that I had that I didn't like or that didn't serve me, they came from the saboteurs. They're not the real me. And if it's if something is not the real me, then I have an opportunity to change it. And so that's what I did. And that's what all of us are capable of doing. And it doesn't take years. It takes several, it takes, first of all, knowing the concept, knowing who your saboteurs are, and then taking a few weeks to do the exercises so that you tune down their power. And so Beishan's transaction means that research 
and uh, he talked about it in his book, Positive Intelligence, there are 10 saboteurs that most of us have. So there aren't like thousands of saboteurs that you need to get to know of. It's, there are only 10. And the other good news is that most of us don't have all 10. Most of us have, a, have about two or three, three to four and most that really are the main culprits that come in and sabotage most of the things that we do and the life that we want to live. So it's really about getting to know your saboteurs and then to catch them when they become very active. And then over time, you're going to be able to weaken their power. And the reason I'm spending a lot of time on the saboteurs is because this is such an important concept. This is such a game changer for most people. For most of the clients that I work with, as soon as I tell them about the saboteur concept, it's like a light bulb goes off. That's when they start realizing, oh, that's why I haven't been able to do the things I want to do. Even though they feel there is another part of them that's super powerful, that wants to do these things, but then they also feel there are these limitations that make them you know, incapable of going forward and doing the things that they want to do. And so that's why once they understood the saboteurs and do a little bit of work to weaken their power, they start becoming really invincible. And so that was my, that has been my own experience as well. And, um, and so that's what I want you to take away from today is that first of all, the saboteur is not the real you. And second of all, you can do something to weaken the power of these saboteurs. You are never going to get rid of them completely. Uh, that may be the little bit of bad news, but it's actually not a bad thing because, like I said, they're here to protect you. So it's actually good to get their alert from time to time. But the key is to not dwell in the kind of lies that they tell you and not to get into the negative emotions that those lies can generate. Right. And then I'll just leave you with one more analogy of, you know, what is the saboteur and why it's important to do some work on them. Let's say you get into this competition to build sand castles on the beach. And uh, you need to see how fast you can build sand castles by the end of, let's say, four hours, see how many you can build. And at the same time, though, you have these crushing waves that come in every half an hour that destroys half of the sand castles that you built. Now, the question is what is going to be more effective for you to win this competition? Is it to go to a sandcastle building class and learn about how you can build sandcastles quicker? Or is it to build some protective wall against the crushing waves so that they don't, the waves don't come in to destroy half of your sandcastles every half an hour? You know what most people do? Most people go to that sandcastle building class to learn how to build sandcastles faster. And then they come back, they start building sandcastles really fast, but then still every half an hour, the waves are gonna destroy half the sandcastles they build. What they don't do is they don't build this protective wall against the crushing waves. And that's what I'm telling you in this program, in this methodology, is about, first of all, we need to build that protective wall against the crushing waves. And that's, so that's what the saboteurs are, those waves that come in and destroy your sandcastles. So now, once you've built up that wall, they're not gonna destroy the sandcastles that you built. So even if you're building sandcastles, not at a super quick rate, uh, you know, compared to your competitors, but you're gonna have all the sandcastles that you built standing after those four hours. Whereas your competitors, they're gonna have half of them destroyed no matter how fast they build them. Right, so, so that's why I tell you this saboteur, intercepting the saboteur, this is the first core muscle of mental fitness. All right, so I'll stop it here for today. I hope you got some useful information. I would love to hear your comments about whether you've uh, experienced these saboteurs from time to time, and you can also tell me about uh, maybe, you know, what are the characteristics 
And um, over the next several videos, I'll get into much more detail talking about the master saboteur, the judge, and then also the nine accomplice saboteurs and what their characteristics are um, and et cetera. And I can also tell you about you know, what my self-sabotaging tendencies are, what my saboteurs are, and see if there's you find any relation to them. Again, saboteurs are totally normal. We all have them. So let's first normalize them and also realize that we can do something about them. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I really hope to see you tomorrow when I talk about the master saboteur, the judge. Again, my name is Christina Liu. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.